What's up guys, Charlie here from techinform.us and today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to install Windows 7 on your Mac. Now, now uh, this is actually pretty simple. The first thing you're going to want to do is going to want to open up Parallels Desktop. doesn't matter which version you have. I believe this is 7 or 10, the new, 7, the, the new version. Then you're going to click Install Windows from DVD or Image File. Continue. Then you're going to want to go to Choose Image File. I have one on my desktop, Windows 7. So go to your desktop, and then it will be right here. Windows 7 Ultimate to ISO. And then go to here, continue. And so this version requires a product key. You're going to want to uncheck Express Installation. First, you're going to want to uncheck um, this version requires a product key. Then uncheck and express installation and continue. Now you can either do this if you like. You can either keep it like a Mac or like a PC. I like to keep it like a PC. That's why I really want Windows. And click continue. And then you can name it. I'm just going to name it Windows. And then customize settings before installation. Uh, continue. And then it'll, this will bring up here. It'll uh, by default it'll give you. Um, uh, what's it called? One gigabyte of RAM. You can adjust how many CPUs it has. Um, it's gonna give it one CPU. Uh, you have what? Uh, what type of Windows you're installing? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at uh, one gigabyte of RAM for now. Then you can just unlock the changes and um, click continue. Now we'll start Windows 7. This process, depending on your computer, will take um possibly 20 minutes so not not too long uh, as you can see it'll make a little uh, shortcut to the actual OS on your desktop say it's running right, so far it uh, only has uh, 1.25 gigabytes of RAM right now using so you're gonna click the parallels window you can click control option to release your mouse and your keyboard um, so it'll start up. You're gonna have to start the um, setup process, actually. So start it, and then this should only take a few minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and guide you through the setup process here. You're going to want to, as soon as it loads, going to want to select English, and then English United States, or wherever you are. You your keyboard, just click next. It will be really laggy right now, but um, don't worry. Now you're going to click install now. Now this is the part that will take some time. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, but uh, when the next one comes up, I'll go ahead and, and guide uh, you all through it. Now, keep in mind that, um, oh, by the way, first, you're going to click uh, Windows 7 64-bit or uh, Windows 7 32-bit. I would go ahead and, and click 32-bit. It's easier and then agree and then hit next and then you're going to want to hit custom then here you're going to want to go to driver and then new give it the same amount of gigabytes and click apply um, this will come up just click ok there we go now this is just the um, reserved memory for the system and this is your uh, the memory for the operating system and everything. So you're going to want to click that and click format. Okay. There we go. And now click next. Now it will copy the files. That shouldn't take too long, but the expanding Windows files could take up to 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this recording and I will be back in a minute or so. Alright, so. That actually couldn't have taken more than about 10 minutes, I would say. I left my computer on, I came back about 10 minutes ago, and it was at the screen. So that means it's pretty much done the installation. So now we need to type in a username for our uh, computer. So go ahead and type in your name. And then you can just type your last name or not. Um, there's your username, uh, and then there's your PC name. So go ahead and click Next. Now you're going to type the password. Just type in any random password. 
There we go. Next. And then product key. Uh, if you have one, go ahead and open it. This is actually a demo version. Um, so go ahead and de-check that if you don't have one, then just click next. And then it'll say help your computer improve Windows automatically. And you can just click anything. Uh, I usually tend to click install only important updates only. I can go ahead and choose whatever updates I want to install. Go ahead and click next. And then this is a home network. So the actual installation of Windows didn't take too long. It was really easy, really seamless. Um, I'm glad they made it so easy. So it's just connecting to your network and applying the settings. Um, yeah, so this is, again, not taking long at all. Now I'm going to be showing you how to um, install uh, differ the resolution because obviously it's in a um, window and the resolution isn't uh, the best. That was weird. So, yeah, it's, it's really been pretty pretty easy. So yeah, uh, again, guess I'll just speed through this process and I'll be back when it's done. All right, so basically just said to reinstall. I had to reinstall Windows. Uh, it's done this before. Don't don't worry about it. It should. You shouldn't have to do the entire installation process again. Uh, but again, I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so here we go. After that message, all I did was basically restart. Um, not restart, but I hit OK. For that message, it restarted, and then it completely loaded up. So here's Windows. Um, again pretty simple you can go to your computer and then system properties this will be windows 7 uh, ultimate i have a 30 day trial right now cuz this 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 um iso was from a really long time ago where they were actually dem demoing uh windows 7 so again here's windows 7 here let me go ahead and address an issue that a lot of people have um so what you can do is you can click control alt to for your mouse you can go full screen but it should be really, really distorted. So all you really have to do is go to your uh, Windows key and go to Computer, then Open Control Panel, then go to Appearance and Personalization, Display, Adjust Resolution over, over here on the sidebar on the left, and then change your resolution to whatever your monitor is. Mine is 1080 by 800, right here and click apply and then click keep changes okay and then X out and there you go you can always give your machine more gigabytes of RAM or whatever uh, when the time comes if you need more gigs of RAM as you can see it's kinda laggy right now um, but just give it more RAM uh, free some memory using a memory for your application before you actually do this and the more you use it the uh, more uh, smoother it will, it will run. So again, this is uh, how you install Windows 7 on uh, Mac. I hope this. I hope you all like this tutorial. To get out, you just out of the screen. Actually, you just go to uh, hit Control Option, go up here and click the little arrow. Should automatically up or not? Uh, then you just go ahead and shut it down as usual. So again, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped anybody. I will not. I can't provide a link for the Windows 7 Ultimate.ISO. This is just a tutorial on how to do it. Um, so yeah, I, I can't provide the link because I don't have the download. So again, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Again, check out the site that I write for at techinform.us. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash abnercus. And like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash abnercus. That's A-B-N-E-R-C-U-S. Again, talk to you later. Thanks for watching.